can I just say something? Being a business owner is stressful, man. And yet we all decide to do it. So here's some my tips on how to maintain a, your composure and make sure that you don't get overly stressed where it's affecting your business and your life. My name's Nicole. I'm the owner of AIM Social. And I'm going to share with you some of the things that I do that I've been working on the last year to make sure that I'm the most successful that I can be and the healthiest person that I can be. And I want to share them with you. The first one you've probably heard 101 times, but I'm totally going to be that person is make sure that your diet and exercise is correct. This means drinking massive amounts of water because you're probably dehydrated. That was super aggressive because you're probably dehydrated. <laughs> so drink lots of water. I want you to limit how much coffee you're drinking. I know that's so hard. I drink way too much coffee. Nutritionist is getting after me on that one. So drink less coffee. If that is something that's dehydrating you, that's making um, things more difficult for you. And then eat lots of healthy foods. Um, do what's best for you. Maybe talk to your doctor or nutritionist if you're unsure as to what you need for you. I am not a nutritionist or a doctor, so I'm not going to give you specifics on that. Next thing I want you to do is do some sort of form of exercise. This might literally just mean going for a 10 minute walk. And if that's all it takes, go for it. Do it hundred percent. I know on days that I'm super stressed, I will go for a quick walk or I'll go for a bike ride. And I just get out of my office, out of my house for a little bit and deal with myself um, to make sure that I am taking care of myself first and foremost. So I want you to do that. Next thing I want you to do, and this one I'm really bad at, I'm going to be honest, is meditation or relaxation. So I'm not a meditation kind of person. If you are, kudos to you. You're amazing. Keep at it. Um, I'm not a meditation kind of person, but I am totally a relaxation kind of person when I want to be. One of the things I do is I grab a book and a coffee and I sit on my front porch and I just <sighs> chill. So that's one of the things I do. You can do whatever makes the most sense for you, what makes you feel most comfortable. I want you to do that 100%, but I want you to make that a priority in your life. Take some time just for you. Maybe this means having a bubble bath. If that's it, go for it 100%. I prefer bath bombs, but you never know. Do what you got to do. Do what makes you feel the best you can feel. Next, I want you to do a kind of hard thing sometimes, but it's going to be really great when you are struggling. And even if let's scratch that, even if you're not struggling, maybe you had a really good day. I want you to find a person that you can talk about, talk to you and say, Hey, this is what happened during my day. Or, Hey, this is something I struggled with today. I want you to have a person that you can talk to about all these things, whether it's a spouse, whether it's a friend, whatever, um, hire a coach or a therapist or a mentor, whatever um, you need to make sure that you are getting the opportunity to talk out all of your stress. And so that way you can stay clear-minded and you can find the solutions that you're, you're looking for to talk it out. And the last thing, we're gonna keep this short and sweet. The last thing I want you to do is make sure that you're prioritizing your sleep. I was the worst at this for so long. I'd be up till 2 a.m., working on stuff. And then I'd go to bed and I'd get up early and I was always tired. I was never sleeping well. I wasn't taking care of myself. So I want you to take some time, plan an actual bedtime. I feel like I'm talking to a kid, but in all seriousness, I have a bedtime. I have to go to bed at a specific time. I will go home from hanging out at somebody's house because it's my bedtime, not because I want to, but because you know it, it's my bedtime. So I want you to set up a bedtime for yourself, plan for that. Um, if you're like me and you'd like to scroll on Instagram or TikTok before bed, plan to go to bed earlier so you have time to do that. Now, a lot of experts are gonna tell you not to do that because it's actually really bad for one, your eyes and two, your brain, because the more time you spend looking at a blue light before bed, um, the worse it is for you. So keep that one in mind, but I'm not going to judge you if you do, because that's hundred percent me. So those are my tips for you. Diet, exercise, meditation or relaxation, talk it out and sleep. These are my tips. If you have other tips that 
you'd love to share with me. I'd love to hear them, put them in the comments. And if you would like more information like this, um, you can subscribe or there's a link in, uh, down below with a whole resource that we talk about how to manage your mental health and grow your business at the same time. If you want access to all of that, click the link below and we will chat. Have a great day, guys. See you later. Oh, am I getting it? Am I not getting it? I don't know. Now I have to call you and I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> that was why I did it online, guys.